All right, so I'm gonna do one final test here with driving. This is a JT DX and I'm driving my Yaesu FTDX 101 MP via the USB cable. So it's using the onboard uh, sound card and codec in the FTDX 101 MP. And I'm gonna drive it, worst case scenario. So we're gonna drive this thing, let's go ahead and hit by the way, I'm, I am transmitting from antenna output number two. You see antenna number two. And that's feeding down here to my little dummy load with the uh, RF tap. And I'm watching that on a spectrum analyzer. And I'll show you the setup here in a second. So we're going to hit tune. And we're driving it. Audio level set to minus about 8 dB. <clears throat> which is driving the radio. It's ALC, max ALC. And we're seeing we're driving it full power, 200 watts. 200 watts, worst, worst case scenario. Okay, full power. We're watching here. This is uh, just a single tone, okay? And we're gonna, we're gonna capture this, go trace. We're just gonna go max hold. We're gonna capture a few seconds of that. Okay, view. We're gonna start another trace, clear right. And as soon as it trans, I'm gonna go back over here and we're gonna go enable TX. It's going to start transmitting in a second. And then once it does start transmitting, it's transmitting now, we're going to do max hold. We're going to capture this for a few seconds. View. Okay. So there's the uh, trace A. So, so here we go. So trace C is my single tone. We'll blank. Now a view, blank, and view. So that's a single tone right here. And this is the max hold of the actual FT8, the eight, the 50 hertz wide, eight discrete 6.25 hertz uh, signals. And you can see this is pretty much the transmit band pass and band, baseband noise through transmit band pass. And this is just noise in the background out here. But this is the signal. And it's, um, I'm not seeing any. This is 50, basic, if I zoomed in and did a more narrow, this is a 10 kilohertz total span. And with using a, a, video, a bandwidth, a resolution bandwidth of 10 hertz, video bandwidth of one hertz. And uh, this is a, a 50 hertz wide signal i see nothing no no in band harmonic <clears throat> even or odd harmonic distortion at all from imd products in the audio chain or in the uh, rf chain just a little bit of baseband noise which is going to happen of course if i turn the power down the radio from 200 watts down to um, 20 watts or 15 watts and drive one of the amplifiers, it greatly improves this, but that's just what you get. Where this is, like I said, worst case, driving uh, the radio at full 200 watts output with full ALC. So um, for those that think that, that I'm doing this incorrectly, please. Um, I'm using the test equipment. I've showed this uh, multiple ways. Um, I'm not finding any, uh, any issues whatsoever. Okay, part two. I'm going to zoom in a lot on the signal here. So we got span, one kilohertz span, bandwidth, resolution bandwidth, one hertz, visual bandwidth, one hertz. So this is about as zoomed in as you can make it. <clears throat> okay, clear right, trace A. We're going to first, we're going to start with just a carrier. So I am transmitting a carrier. Again, max ALC, 200 watts. Here's my carrier. We're going to do max hold for a few seconds here. It's such, it, it takes a few seconds to scan, about five seconds uh, to sweep because of the resolution that I'm forcing this into and uh, the narrow bandwidth. So we're going to hit view, that's about five or six traces. Okay, so now we have our single tone. We can see pretty much all the noise is well under 70 dB down from zero dB reference of the carrier. And now we're going to go to trace two, 
clear right. And we're going to set this to send enable, so it's going to send CQ here. And when it does, we'll set it for max hold. So it's going to transmit here in a second. And now, okay, now it's transmitting. Okay, so wait for it to get the span. Okay, max hold. We're only going to get about two in there. Hit view. I'm going to wait for it to transmit again, and I'll hit max hold again. So we'll we'll capture a couple of them in here. So got eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Here we go. Fourteen seconds against transmit. It's transmitting. So max hold. There's another one. Go back to view. I don't want to catch the uh, the key up and unkey of the radio. Just the, the tones is what I'm looking for because um, I don't want any anomalies. I just want to show how clean the actual tone is and the the eight discrete tones. Even driving the radio, worst case at at um, uh, 200 watts and max ALC. And capturing again. Get another scan in there. The sweep, there's another one. Hit view, okay. That's good enough. So let's go ahead and halt transmitting. Now let's take a look at these. So, trace A is just the tone. Trace B is the tone and the the full eight, eight uh, uh, individual discrete tones. So let's blank that one out. Let's go over to B. Let's take a look to some, uh, enable some markers. So we're in trace B, let's go marker one, um, normal. Let's go down here to like 10 dB down and let's do another marker. Marker two, trace B, delta relative to one. And let's see here, let's move that over here to about here. And it's showing delta is 48 hertz. So that's our, let's go to 50 hertz. Right about there, let's go back to trace one. Do, 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 select marker, marker one. Okay, so that's that's 52 hertz is what it's showing for bandwidth right there. So we're, we're staying within the 50 hertz of, of bandwidth. That's at minus 20, almost minus 20 dB down. Yeah, minus 20.7. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not seeing any problems here. That's about as clean as you're gonna get. 